Where are the women in Filipino American history? I am hungry for Filipino women's American stories that come from traversing continents. My sister Rosal and I are in college together. At the archive, she finds numerous articles about a Filipino woman in the earlier 20th century. She was buried alive by her community in Northern California. They were indicted for her murder, but acquitted. Since then, I would hear about her from people in the community as a ghost story. A group of women and men were accused of murdering a woman, Selena Varro, in Stockton and then burying her in Jersey Island. When the party arrived on the island, these two men were pulled out of their cabin and told them, you've got to go dig a hole. They weren't told why, they just went and did it. One of the men noticed that Selene was not dead. It was a reality that women did it. Now, here's the thing that came up just recently. People said, did those women dig the, did they dig that thing? No, they didn't. Men dug it. It's a profound tragedy that we don't exactly know what happened. I mean, here's this 28-year-old young mother. Who was she? Celine to her family, and Celine in the headlines, from Singapore to London, Los Angeles, and New York. Sometimes they called her Cecilia, even Marcelina. They couldn't get her name right. Secrecy is paramount in all of these different kinds of Filipino nationalist organizations. When you hear a story, you want to know how real it is. My grandma, she doesn't have a chance to keep his, her family together because of what they did to her. I want to see the family stick together. I think this is what uh, Grandma Celine wants. I mean, it's not us, it's just her, her spirit. She wants to be known. 